Hey shining stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our Tarte Takeover Premium BoxyCharm box. So we'll be unboxing what we got as well as trying on the products and doing a short little makeup tutorial. So if you guys wanna see that and more, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Show your support, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends. And don't forget to comment and let me know your thoughts on this box as well as what are your favorite products from this box this month. And if you do have a Boxy's Charm subscription, then did you get some of the same items I did? Let's be twinsies. With that being said, let's get into it. Don't give a hell, paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night scene. Starting off this video, I do want to mention that I am not a licensed or certified esthetician or makeup artist or anything like that. I am self-taught in every way. I continue to educate myself every single day just so I can learn more and so I can teach you guys and you guys can learn more as well. As always, reviews and opinions are 100% honest and authentically me. Although this video is sponsored, it is not being paid. BoxyCharm did send over this box this month to just share and review. Timestamps as well as any other disclaimers or foreclosures will be down in the description box below if you guys are interested. And if you're interested in purchasing a BoxyCharm subscription, no matter the subscription, you guys can check out my referral link down below. I am an affiliate with BoxyCharm, meaning if you tap this link and decide to make a purchase, I do earn a small commission with no additional cost to you to help support my channels and to create more videos for you guys. If you guys are interested in just these specific products themselves, they will also be linked down in the description box below, so just check it out. If you guys aren't familiar with BoxyCharm or what it is, it is a monthly beauty curated subscription box because my boxes are gifted, they aren't curated to me, but when you guys sign up, you will be filling out a profile and basically BoxyCharm will pick out some of the products for that month for you. You also do have a choice to choose depending on what subscription you get. Today, again, we'll be talking about the premium box. This is my first premium box and I'm super excited. They are having a Tarte takeover. So all the items in this box are by Tarte. And for the premium box, you get six full size products for $39.99 a month. There are also additional taxes and fees, um, as well as I believe a handling fee they have recently added this year. Now that we've talked about what the boxes are and which one we'll be talking about today, let's get straight into this box. Again, this is the Tarte Takeover BoxyCharm Premium Box. Again, I have never had a premium box. I'm super excited for this. You get the six full-size products. And this is what our box looks like. Usually it is in a black box, but because it is a brand takeover, they go by, I guess, however they do the brand collaboration. So for Tarte, it was a purple box with these beautiful little leaf designs really pretty and we open up our box and this is how it looks of course we always get our pamphlet which basically just tells us the theme of the month if there is a theme and then on the back it tells you what products you got as well as pricing any info on them and where you can find them on instagram jumping straight into this box the first product we're going to talk about is the awake by tarte sunshine illuminator stick which looks like this it's a really easy to use stick and now at first I did think this was going to be more like a highlighter. I watched a couple of BoxyCharm premium videos just to get to know what was in the variation for this month before I got my box. And this is the packaging on it. I love the packaging but honestly it's not everything you think it would be. So my preference to use this stick is to use it under your makeup as just like an illuminator a brightener i used it under my eyes i will have a clip of it somewhere in here for you guys as you guys can see there's not really too much pigment there it's really meant more for me i would use it more as just like a under base type of product to just illuminate the skin so if you're into that type of thing i definitely recommend it but it's not a highlight highlight like I thought it was going to be. So I personally wouldn't use this over my makeup because I feel like products like this kind of tend to make my makeup move. And I did see that in a couple videos. So I didn't want to try it and mess it up today. We just used it under our makeup. And I did like the application. It does feel cooling on the skin. 
and it does absorb pretty easily i used it under my eyes around my chin around my nose and on my forehead and just to let you guys know a little bit more about this product on our pamphlet this is 25 dollars, and it says swipe on sunshine with this lit from within glow and a stick this vegan multitasking stick instantly brightens blurs and wakes up tired under eyes micronized pearls reflect light to blur imperfections and create natural luminosity while a cooling sensation reinvigorates the skin and helps to soothe and reduce the look of puffiness and dark circles it does say you can use it under or over makeup as i did mention earlier but again for me i just personally like it under makeup um, i feel like it would make my makeup move and i feel like it wouldn't really add too much glow as you guys can see if you guys can see the difference it does illuminate but it's not like a straight up highlighter you also don't necessarily have to use this with makeup under makeup or over makeup you can use this straight on bare skin just to blur out just to brighten that get that nice dewy glow during the summer or even during the winter whenever you want to use it pretty much like I said, I really do like how this feels on the skin and it absorbs very quickly. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky or anything like that. The next product we're going to get into is a palette. I am going to go ahead and set my base off camera after we talk about this a little bit. And then we'll get straight into a little eyeshadow tutorial. Now this is the Tarte High Performance Natural Sunrise Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like and these are the colors inside of it. It does feel pretty hefty. I've had some Tarte uh, palettes in the past and they all feel pretty hefty, all the ones that I've gotten at least. It's your basic white packaging with the gold little stripes on the front. It's honestly giving me like zebra vibes. And then you have a compact mirror. This is a BoxyCharm exclusive. So I believe that means you really can't get this anywhere else. And if you can, it's like very limited edition. We did get an Ace Beauté palette a while back. I forgot for which box, but that was a BoxyCharm exclusive and it was a limited edition item that you can only get from BoxyCharm or Ace Beauté's site and only for a limited time. Um, so it, this might be something like that, basically. This retails for $30 and it says, create looks that go from sunrise to sunset with this versatile nine pan palette of warm matte and shimmer finishes. Infused with Amazonian clay, these shades mix and match to complement your makeup mood. I'm going to go ahead and set my base off camera and jump straight into the palette. So the first shade we're going to jump into is Element, this one right here. And we're going to use that for our crease shade. Now we're going to jump into the shade Delight. We're going to use that to blend out the transition and bring it up to the brow bone. The next shade we're going to take is Charming, which is this deep dark brown. And we're literally just going to use that on the outer V so we can darken up the eye and make it a little more smoky. I'm gonna go back into element which was our first transition shade just to blend that brown out around the crease area now with a flat brush i'm gonna hop into the shade adore we're gonna use that from the inner corner of the eye right down i wouldn't say all the way to the middle maybe just before the middle and then we're going to use another color to blend everything out. With the same brush, I'm going to take Sassy, which is the color right next to it. And we're going to use that to blend out the rest. Basically, where we ended the Adore shade and started the Charming Brown shade. For the inner corner to brighten up the look, we're going to jump into this shade called Brilliant. It is a shimmer shade. And we're just going to use that on the inner corner, as I mentioned. I do want to smoke the bottom lash line out a little bit. 
we're gonna take the shades charming as well as element which was that darker deep brown and the first transition shade we used we're gonna use charming first blend that out more on the outer corner of the eye and then we're gonna take element and blend that out right underneath and towards the center and beginning of the eye So this is the finished eyeshadow look. This is how it all came together and I love it. The pigments were really soft, really blendable and really easy to use. I've never really had a problem with Tarte Cosmetics. I haven't had a lot of their palettes, but from the palettes I do have, they're all really blendable. So I really like this. If you like to do seasonal looks and you like fall makeup as we're getting into the season, um, then this is definitely a palette you should try and check out and get. So now the next product up in our box is this baby's. We're still doing eyes and we have a few eye products in here. So this is the Double Take Awake Micro Liquid Liner and Brightener. It retails for $25 and it says it's infused with mineral pigments and clay for all day wear. The Rich Black Liquid Liner and Creamy Matte Universal Neutral Gel Liner in this two-in-one product combine to create bigger, brighter, more defined eyes. The micro felt tip liquid liner hugs the curves of the lash line, applying pigment smoothly without skipping, while the creamy gel liner instantly brightens eyes to take a full night's sleep. So I did test this out just on my hand, and it is a very, very precise and very, very thin winged liner tip. It's like a pen, like you're just writing with a pen. So I'm excited to try this. I've never tried anything this thin in a felt tip type of marker pen. Uh, so let's just get into it and I do also have like most people problems trying to put their uh, winged liner on on camera So I'm gonna do this the best way I can for you guys just on my hand There was a bit of bleeding, but maybe because I do have a shadow on there won't be any bleeding So let's just go ahead and see and just to show you the little swatch so you guys could see how thin it is I mean that is seriously precise I did notice a tiny bit of bleeding. I was a little nervous because I was scared it was going to mess up the eyeshadow, but it actually didn't. Um, it bled a little bit. The more gentle you are with the liner applying it on the eye, it won't bleed as much. So do just keep that in mind. Like I said, I was a little nervous that I was going to mess it up, but it came out really good actually. And it's very precise, very sharp. Um, I like my liner to be not too thick, but not too thin. It also depends on the look that you're doing. But so far, I really like it. So this is how the liner looks on both sides. I love it. Very precise, like said. Um, like said, very minor bleeding. But I did notice when I did this side, I didn't see any of the bleeding. So it may just be when you first open it up, the first few strokes. So just do keep that in mind. Um, everything else went really smoothly. I absolutely love it. It's really good if you like doing like the little corner liner like I do. Um, it just makes everything... Just, it looks so good. I love it. I love it. So I did forget to show you guys the packaging up close. This is how the packaging looks. So you guys saw the liner. Now we're going to jump into the brightener side. And this is what the bright brightener side looks like. Oh, that is pigmented. I love that pigment. Like, oh, I don't think I've ever had waterline liners that were this pigmented when they were like white or like off-white that type of color so this definitely helps to make the eye pop so as you guys can see there is a huge difference like I said i love how pigmented this is it's just it's stunning and i love it and it doesn't look like unnatural. It just really opens everything up. I'm going to go ahead and do this side off camera. And then we're going to get into the next product. Next product we're getting into is the lashes. So we're jumping into a mascara. 
this is the tarte lights camera lashes four in one mascara i have not tried a mascara from tarte yet so i'm super excited that's the type of style it's supposed to give you so it looks like it gives you a little bit of length a little bit of volume and definition this retails for 24 dollars, and it says this best-selling mascara is like a push-up bra for your lashes it volumizes lengthens and curls lashes for an instant eye lift while delivering 24 hour flake free and smudge proof wear Plus, the vitamin-rich formula conditions with each coat, all while creating darker, more defined lashes. So let's go ahead and try this out. I always like to curl my lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. But just so you guys know, this is in the shade black. I don't know if there are other colors or if it's just one specific color. But I just got to show you the packaging real quick. It has like this uh, kind of like leather coating type of fabric on the actual packaging and it's just it's really cool i love it i love that and then this is how the wand looks All right, guys, so you can see the difference. I like this mascara. It is a tiny bit clumpy, but honestly, even on the packaging itself, it does look like it can get a little clumpy if you really build, build, build. But I honestly like how it looks. It definitely gives that thickness. It gives some length. It defines and one coat will actually define without the clumping i put about two or three coats so this is how it's looking i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera and we're gonna get into our last two products next product is this baby and this is the if i'm saying it correctly maracuja juicy lip so i believe this is supposed to be like a lip balm kind of like lip gloss thing going on hybrid type product this is what it looks like we got the shade rose i love tarte's packaging because look this comes with like a little clicker so when you want to disperse the product you click it like a pen like so cool i love it so we're gonna get to use this in a second i do want to line my lips real quick i'm not sure which shade i'm gonna use yet so that's the shade Mmm, this smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my lip liner from Mattia Deluxe Makeup. This is in the shade Mauve. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and then we're gonna jump into the lippy. This is how it's looking. Excuse this little part right here. I have a little scab from when I fell and also on the chin. Um, if you guys were wondering what the heck that crazy looking thing was. Um, so just excuse that. It's still healing. Um, but this is how it looks. And it really does feel like it gives nice juicy lips. It gives high shine. And I mean, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Even with the lip liner, it's just, it's phenomenal. I like how it feels. I love how it smells. And y'all need it. Y'all need it in your life. Mm. All right, now the last product we're going to jump into is this, baby. This is the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. It retails for $39. And it says, wake up to the cooling sensation of this vegan daily gel moisturizer. Powered by electrolytes, it deeply hydrates for a healthy, youthful glow while helping soften and plump the skin's appearance. Keep skin moisturized for 24 hours with this lightweight, non-greasy, water-based gel formula. 
Now I love gel cream, so I can't wait to use this. But as you guys probably know, as I say in every video, I have tons and tons and tons of skincare. So this is not something I'll be opening right away, but it's definitely something I will be keeping and using. The aqua bottle with a white glossy top. It's pretty, pretty. I love Tarte because they always have like very pretty packaging, being very colorful packaging, and it's just something I love. So now I am gonna go ahead and add my setting spray, which I usually do before, but I did forget. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my setting spray, add a little bit of highlighter, and that's pretty much it that I'm gonna be finishing the look with. While we're off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and add everything up to value out the box and let you guys know my thoughts on it. And yeah, so I'll be right back. So we're back. If you guys wanna see the product details on this look, um, I'll have some of them mentioned down in the description box below, but if you want to see the full list of like blush and everything I used beforehand for base, then make sure you follow me on Instagram at Midnight Moon Makeup. I will have all the product details when this video goes out. I'll have the photos on the same day, so stay tuned. Now for the value of this box, this box retailed out to be $164. Um, I like I said I always think it's a good value no matter what you get no matter how much they are I mean, of course depends how much they are, but all the products you're getting are gonna be well over the Price you're paying for that month. So since this is the premium box It's $40 a month one product in this box pays for the whole box itself Which is the drink of h2o hydrating boost moisturizer, which is $39 so like I said, I always think it's a great value for what you're getting and you get to try tons of new products or products you just haven't tried yet. I love Tarte, but I honestly can't always afford to go out and buy a bunch of makeup like that. So I don't always get the chance to try what I really like, but I absolutely loved all the products in today's video. Like I said, some weren't as I, as I expected them to be, but I still do truly love them and I will be using them more. And if you guys want to see more on my thoughts for each individual products as I get to use them more, you guys, again, can follow me on Instagram. I will be having more little short reviews there. I would honestly say I think my favorite thing out this box would have to be the liner and brightener duo. Um, I'm usually obsessed with palettes, but that liner and brightener is just, that was a perfect pair. The, and the mascara. The liner really gave precise lines. Like I said, there was a little bit of bleeding, but I think that was due to just opening it up for the first time. The brightener is still like very bright, very bright, super pigmented. And I love the way it just opens up the eyes. And again, the mascara, very volumizing, lengthening, thickening. It's just everything you need. And like I said, this box was amazing. I absolutely loved it. Thank you, BoxyCharm and Tarte for sending me over the Tarte Takeover box this month. Again, stay tuned because we will be unboxing our base box for October. So if you want to see that, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Join my Galaxy Glam Squad where we explore the worlds and planets of beauty and everything in them. Show your support if you haven't yet. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up and share it with friends. And again, comment down below. Let me know if you liked the look. Let me know some of your favorite products from this month's box. And let me know, did you get your hands on the Premium Tarte Takeover box this month? If you did, what variation did you get? Did you get the same products as me? With that being said, you guys stay beautifully awesome. Keep on shining like the beautiful stars you are. And I'll see you back here next Thursday, as always, with another video. Later.